In my last theory, I discussed how the player and lead protagonist of Generation 3, Brendan, destroyed Wally's confidence to continue the fight. This is pretty obvious, but there were some subjective elements to it. And as the comment section did suggest, perhaps it was Brendan who helped Wally start his adventure, and Brendan who ultimately helped Wally train harder and get stronger. And that is good, I appreciate when people can add plausible possibilities to my theory. However, one thing I skimmed over was Wally's sickness, and this is mainly due to the lack of evidence, but why not? Let's take a look at it. Stay subscribed though, as Jen will be going to have some spooky stories and theories on Killswitch and Polybus soon, so don't miss out on them. Now, let's talk about just what was wrong with Wally and how he magically recovered. Firstly, I want to credit multiple people in my comment section for pointing out this idea to me. I did not forget about Wally's sickness. I always knew he was, but the games have a horrible way of developing characters. The game explains that Wally was sick and had to move to his aunt and uncle's because the air was cleaner there. Even though this location is extremely close to a volcano that covers its surroundings with ash, the wind currents keep it clean. Wally is able to recover from his sickness very well at Verdan Turf Town. This could imply that he had had asthma. So case closed, right? Wally had asthma. Duh. Silly me making video out of something so obvious. Except Wally recovers from his sickness. So much so he can climb mountains and have intense battles. I will explain this in greater detail later, but for now, this is impossible. Why, you might ask? Because there is no cure for asthma. Asthma is rarely an acquired disease and is more inherited from one's parents. This disease causes the airways to be inflamed and reduces the amount of air allowed into the lungs. This causes spasms of the lungs and can cause the user to suffer from an attack, simulating choking. Even someone with mild case of asthma would never fully recover from the sickness ever and will have trouble being able to run or be in dry, dusty areas, ashy areas, or climb mountains. Basically, anything that would impede clean air and a very good airflow, such as diving underwater and holding one's breath or going through volcanic tunnel areas with lots of ash. You probably already figured it out by now, but there is no way Wally could have asthma, as Wally Wally did all of those things. How do we know this though? Wally's name can be found at all the gyms as he does arrive at Victory Road. This is a sign that while Brendan was dealing with Team Aqua and Team Magma and getting his eight badges, Wally was doing the same, except quicker to catch up. Wally would have had to go through some sandstorms, volcanic ash, dive, surf, battle, climb, walk, and run all the way through every route he traveled. Even his Pokemon support the routes that he visited to catch them. Even though it's possible to do all this with asthma, the likelihood is extremely low. One extreme problem this scenario presents is that the mountain Wally would have had to climb if Wally did have asthma, he would have been at a much higher substantial risk to his severe attack with all these allergies from the volcano, but also altitude sickness from climbing the mountains. Some people might say that Wally could potentially have taken his time, but by the time Brendan was at Victory Road, Wally had already beaten all the gym leaders and caught up up. That was being three gems behind, and he doesn't start beating the gems until the time Mount Chimney is explored. The evidence for this is following Wally on the Hones News Network and looking at the names on the statues. So this means Wally would have had to go extremely fast to keep up with Brendan. And though we do not have any official canon timeline it took Brendan to beat the Hone League, we can estimate that it wasn't very long, as he never needs to sleep, and the game can be completed in less than eight hours. Now excuse me for being so skeptical that Armored Skeptic would be proud, but that seems an extremely short time for an asthmatic to be able to catch up being three gems behind. I cannot pin down with 100% evidence what Wally sickness is, but I can say with the utmost confidence Wally did not have asthma, or at the very least if he did, he must have been a miracle child. And just so we're on the same page, looking at his Pokemon, none of them had any healing attacks or the ability to heal him of any kind of sickness. So let's move on. Wally might not have asthma, but he could have had a number of other respiratory sicknesses. Who knows? It's only suggested that he moved somewhere with clean air to make him healthier. Many sicknesses do not magically cure themselves due to clean air, but there are a few. And the most common diseases that can be cured by clean air and cleaner surroundings would be bronchitis. Acute 
acute and chronic bronchitis are respiratory diseases and infections that can last weeks to months before being cured. And a person who is prone to this disease can get the same disease over and over and over again. You know what else? The sickness is even more prevalent to those who are prone to it in dirty areas, like areas with lots of mold or dirty air. And finally, bronchitis can cause asthma-like symptoms for the duration of the infection and sometimes for weeks afterwards. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD is a chronic condition that causes shortness of breath, coughing, and wheezing. In healthy people with bronchitis who have normal lungs and no chronic health problems, antibiotics are usually not necessary. And in most cases, the cause is a virus and antibiotics wouldn't help anyways. The conventional treatment for acute bronchitis may consist of simple measures such as getting plenty of rest, drinking lots of fluids, and avoiding smoke and fumes and getting fresh air. I would like to propose that Wally had acute bronchitis and was very susceptible to it being near a town that was close to the bodies of water. Often towns like that have higher concentrations of mold and allergies due to flooding, and this can cause sickness to those who are prone to it. Once he had moved, he had no longer been living near those bodies of water, and his sickness cleared up naturally. As he went on his journey, he was able to move around, walk, and breathe fresh air all over, and he was able to recover. This is how he was able to be cured of his sickness and make it to the Victory Road, because acute bronchitis mimics asthma. When Wally decided to move, his sickness was at the end of its cycle, and he was able to recover from it before falling prey to it once more, as he had all of his life. Wally constantly suffered from bronchitis, and this was his sickness, and that's why he was shy, because he was often too sick to go out, play, or even interact with anyone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn. Am I correct, or did I miss some glaring flaw in this theory? Please let me know in the comments section below, and please, like and share my video. It's 100% free if you're signed in, and it helps me to continue my show. Thanks for watching, and I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. Good gaming and God bless. Thanks for watching my video and making it to the end. If you want to see my theories a day early, make sure to head over to my Patreon where donators get a day early viewing of my newest theories. And follow me over on Twitter to see my updates about certain videos and access to some cool unlisted hidden content as well. If you don't have Twitter, I am on Tumblr too, so be sure to check out my videos on your preferred social networks or subscribe here on good old YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a while now and I don't plan on going anywhere soon, so I hope you keep supporting me by liking the video and sharing it where you can on Facebook or Twitter or other forums as well. Thank you again for taking a bit of time out to support me and I hope to see you here next time on Pokemon Theory. Please note that in all my videos if I use images from Google that I do not own any of those images and all images attained from Google are owned by their respective owners and copyrights. So please remember this when watching my Pokemon Theories. Thanks.